I am angry because um, at you all um, because I thought that you would have listened to the sources that are out there and what you had been given. But I'm more angry at myself for, for the trust that I placed in your hands. Um, I am tired of the conspiracy theories that are going around and the sources that are being uh, thrown out there from YouTube videos or even journal articles where they're quoted, but it's from the people who are surveying and not the actual peer-reviewed part, part of the um, articles. Um, I have heard multiple people quote the Constitution and the Bible and it's, it's our rights. The rights this isn't political. And all of our children do have a right to an education, and it has to be provided in a safe manner. Um, so I think at this point we need to reevaluate what we're doing because it's not working. I'm here. I have four degrees behind my name. I have multiple certifications behind my name. If you guys have any questions, feel free. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt folks, but please just take 30 seconds to hear about this free coin offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the U.S. had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. It's not too late. Noble Gold specializes in retirement planning and IRAs, so their team of experts is your first step. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Not many people can relax with inflation this high. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. Um, and this is not to mention a threat posed to faculty and staff. The vaccines work, but when you're surrounded by unvaccinated children who can circulate the virus at high levels, that vaccine-induced protection is challenged, particularly in older individuals. Because anecdotally, I ride my bike through both a middle school and elementary school on my way into Ohio State. The kids are all wearing masks as they come to school, because Columbus mandates them. They can care less. Making it mandatory is not a burden on them. It's the parents that are the challenge. And the last I saw, there was something like 70 peer-reviewed scientific research studies on the efficacy of masks, and something like four or five that say they don't work. The evidence is out there. It's all out there. If you choose to look at the scientific and medical evidence and not TikToks and Facebook and memes and whatever, it's out there. And we need to follow that because we've been in school, what, three weeks? And here we are already talking about it again. Are we literally just going to wait until a kid dies? The option is, it's wonderful to wear a mask. Mask does protect. And we can see by all the news, everything that's going on with all the hospitals, all the states. Your mask has a fat on it. It needs to stop. It is about the children first. It's like if I'm driving in a car, I can't say I'm going to put a seatbelt on. The law, I will get a ticket if I don't have a seatbelt on. It's just common sense sometimes what we need to do. There are laws, there are standards. You can't have freedom everywhere. Yeah, I'm here. I'm good. Can I roll in his place? Nope. Nope. Can I get on the list? We should have that. Yeah, it's out for the back. We normally don't have it. I mean, Bill had a chance to go, so we're wasting his time. You could just let me go. Bill had a chance to go. He had. We're, we're not. I'm not talking. Just. Oh my God. Miss uh, Anita. Pretty hard to go. Don't worry. Hurry up. I understand. Pretty hard. Got it. She's gonna tell you Irish And I'll be very quick. I just wanted um, you guys to. I just wanted to understand the parents that don't want their kids to wear masks. Are you saying you want my child to die? Because I don't understand. It, it, it is. Is that no. serious? Nobody that said that. That's bullshit. I'll wait on that. Well, is that serious? Yeah. That's dramatic COVID shit there. Yeah. A lot of people. That's a bit much. COVID has killed a lot of people. And it's not going to hurt anybody by saying, let's wear masks. Let's learn from history. The Spanish flu killed more people than the COVID. And they didn't have a vaccine in the 1918 to 1930s. They did social distancing and masks. Why are we not learning from that? And they did lockdown. And if you went outside with a mask, with 
without a mask, you got a ticket. You were getting a ticket as if it was like the one lady said was more seatbelt, and you get pulled over, you get a seatbelt ticket. They were giving out tickets. So let's learn from history. The Spanish flu killed many, 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 way more people in COVID. Yeah, and they didn't learn until they enforced lockdowns, masks, and I don't care if it's a free country. I get that, but there's not gonna be many people around if we all die from COVID. Anyway.